Our guest today is not new to this and uh, I'm very honored once again to have you, Mr. Julius. However, whoever missed maybe any episode where you are in, could you kindly introduce yourself to them? Thank you, Maureen. My name is Julius Gitare. I'm a counselor psychologist. I uh, am the training manager, Kenya Association of Professional Counselors, based in Parklands. And uh, I want to thank you for hosting me at this particular moment to talk about mental health mm -hmm. and uh, mental health month. Oh, yes, thank as you. we mark the end of it, whereby sure. they say it's about tools to thrive because mental health has become, or rather mental health illnesses mm. have become so rampant. Sure. But I'm curious to know, what led you to, you know, getting into this industry of uh, mental health? Ah, thank you, my hosts, yes. Madam Maureen. Yes. Uh, what led me is that uh, personally, my brother, my little brother, actually, he died last year, oh. March. Oh. He has uh, struggled with depression for more than uh, 20 years, being managed mm -hmm. by both medication and cancer. Actually, mm -hmm. is one of the pillars that, that made it, prompted me to seek to know about uh, mental health right. and the illnesses. Right. And uh, he, he was our firstborn. He mm -hmm. has been more of a mentor and an inspiration to me. Wow. I think uh, he is the one who made me to really seek this uh, career, mm -hmm. though mm -hmm. I was not aware, right. but the struggles that we had with him, yes. uh, when he developed the depression, mm -hmm. uh, it has been a pillar mm -hmm. to making me to go deeper, mm -hmm. even to understand more about mental health mm -hmm. and the mental illnesses mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how to manage them. Because I never believed that our family can have uh, madness. Right. Yes. As and to us in the community, yes, it's the madness. term madness, it's true. we could not know the, the, the difference between madness and depression, so madness. Exactly. I don't know that kind of a thing. And I understand because mm. it's a Kenyan way of saying it. In fact, anybody who talks about mental health right now, yes. and hence I'm suspecting where there's this stigma on mental health is because everybody thinks that if you're struggling with mental health, mm. you must be mad. Yes. In fact, even you you pass by Mathare, you're told, Indoi Mathare, mahali watu anapelekwa. And the reality is, you go in there and you find very calm people. Correct. They will talk to you normally, mm. but the reality is they are suffering. Sure. Now, let's talk about stigma on mental health. I know you experience this in your practice. Could you, could you tell us, could you give us a view into the world through your eyes as a professional in yes. terms of stigma? Thank you. <clears throat> now, uh, as we observe the end of the mental health month, issues to do with the mental health and the stigma, mm -hmm. it, is, uh, it has got a very, very long history. Mm -hmm. And uh, this begins even in the biblical times. Right. The oh. religious mm -hmm. background we are by now, uh, we could, uh, the, the world could not be able to understand this thing called uh, mental health. Mm -hmm. They could not be able to understand. Right. I was doing some study about the, how long condom has been in the market yeah, and yeah. why condom was invented, uh -huh. as I was uh, reading about now the, the, the issue to do with the HIV and AIDS. Yes, yes. Condom has been in the market for more than 500 years. Oh. The condom. Okay, okay. And uh, the reason condom was made mm -hmm. is because it was discovered people who are very sexually active mm -hmm. would end up becoming mad. Right. The issue about STI was never known. Uh -huh. STI, like gonorrhea and yes. syphilis, they were yes. never known that they have got a, a, a direct correlation with the mental oh. breakdown. Oh, okay. Until later right on. Uh -huh. So people are careful even to engage in sexual activities uh -huh. because if you become very active, you end up becoming mad. Becoming mad, mad. yes. Yes. Little did they understand mm -hmm. what was causing mental illness not about being uh, sexually active. Mm -hmm. It was because of the STIs, wow. like syphilis and gonorrhea. Okay. So the stigma has been there. Mm -hmm. In the religious times, when somebody didn't get a mental breakdown, mm -hmm. they'll be taken to the monasteries mm -hmm. and uh, places of worship right. so that now the priest could be able to exorcise, exorcise the demons. Yes, yes. And uh, sometimes this process, the mm -hmm. stigma has been high, uh, much because uh, mm -hmm. in the history, historical times, sometimes even people become we will get mental illnesses. Yes. People, they will be drilled on their skull, uh -huh. a process known as refining, uh -huh. uh, because it was believed that there were some spirits. Uh -huh. It is the spirits that were making people to be that way uh -huh. in a bizarre behavior. True, 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 true. And as a result, we need uh -huh. now to, to create an opening so that yes. they can be able to come out. Yes. And come out. Then there was the flogging of the people, oh. putting people in the caves and uh, smoking uh, smoke that place. 
uh, <laughs> mutilating their bodies so that the demons uh, can escape. Uh, they, 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 they don't get a beautiful body to habitate and ah, they cause that kind of problem. So this stigma has got a long, long history. Wow. And so mm -hmm. uh, when now your body is mutilated, the demons will not get a place to, to abode. So you right. become, uh, it, it was a belief that when you are angry, demons <laughs> cannot attack you. <laughs> right. So uh -huh. it is a long, long, long history. Yes. And then the same history has come. Mm -hmm. And it has now been mixed with the politics of the times yes. to an extent mm -hmm. that uh, people, when you get somebody who is mentally ill, mm -hmm. which can be a genetic condition, like yes. you look at the causes, eh? yes, yes. Uh, if people are not very comfortable. So you tend to hide that individual who mm -hmm. has gotten a mentor, mm -hmm. break it down, mm -hmm. and sometimes even uh, tying them on a tree, on the shamba, you hide them so that. Uh, they cannot tamper with your true, body true. image or yes. with your self-concept. Yes, yes, yes. So the stigma has been there. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to stand and say that at least uh, uh, one of our family members mm. Has has a is, is insane or yes. has got a mental issue. Right. We all want to look super and yes. healthy. Yes. When in reality, mm -hmm. uh, we can not, not escape from having these conditions as long as we are human beings. Mm. Mental condition, even during the Jesus time, mm -hmm. even during his time, true, mental true. illnesses were there. Yes. And these were, some of them is as a result of genetic predisposition. Mm -hmm. Some of them do come because of the environmental factors mm -hmm. that work against us. Mm -hmm. And therefore, our genes cannot be able to have the serious to manage them. Mm -hmm. So we will break it down, especially when we don't manage. Wow. Like when you look at the case of now COVID-19, yes. uh, people lost the jobs mm -hmm. and they went to depression. That is not madness, uh, which is genetic. True. It, True. Is, it is an environmental factor right. Right. that has made it go down. Right. So it will be there. Right. Uh, and, and it's a good thing that you've brought in the genetic uh, aspect. Because yes. uh, for the first time in my life, I asked myself, could it be genetic? And what? particular mental issues are genetic. Could you just break it down for us? Uh, no. Uh, gen uh, genetic mental issues, mm -hmm. there are many. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes there is a very thin line between understanding whether the condition is genetic mm -hmm. and whether it is environmental. Uh -huh. And that's why we, uh, there is an ending mm -hmm. that we are all mad except yes. the degree of madness. <laughs> well, <laughs> I see. I, I like putting it this way. We all need a bit of therapy. Right. So it's the degree, but we all we are all in the same boat. Exactly. Going to the, we are, we are all predisposed. In the same shape, yes. We are right. predisposed. Yes. And and as you come as you continue answering that, maybe you can also break down to us the types of mental health that uh, people or rather we are dealing with. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, no. <laughs> so uh, genetic conditions. Uh, these are conditions that run within the family mm -hmm. from. The time of conception, mm -hmm. these conditions, genetic, they are called the congenital factors. Mm -hmm. From the time of conception, mm -hmm. the genes we inherit from our parents. Mm -hmm. If our parents were in a, li in a lineage mm -hmm. whereby there was a genetic factor mm -hmm. that was carrying mental illnesses, mm -hmm. it can it can learn in two ways. It, in one generation, it can be recessive. Mm -hmm. In the other generation, they become dominant. Oh, I see. It can even escape to gen generation when it is, when it is still uh, recessive. Right. Then on the third generation, it uh, resurfaces again. Okay. It is something learning within the family. Right. And the uh, genetic conditions, they mm -hmm. have got no cure per se. Okay. Um, the world of science, the medical field, mm -hmm. has not gotten the cure for genetic condition. What mm -hmm. they do is mm -hmm. they manage through medication. True. And uh, now, with the way the world is evolving and knowledge is increasing, mm -hmm. now it, it, it has been discovered that now uh, it is it, when we integrate now genetic, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. medical yes. management yes. together with the counseling and the, the long term procedure we normally call psychotherapy, mm -hmm. then definitely that can be able to stabilize somebody. Uh -huh. You might be depressed, but yes. you, can be man you might be having even a genetic condition. Right. It can be managed and mm -hmm. you work like a normal human being wow. throughout your life. I see. Because there's that balance yeah, of balance management. Of, yes, 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 yes. Management. Yes. You stabilize completely. Mm -hmm. But the moment you escape drugs, that's it. <laughs> you you relax, go back to square one. You become one. even worse yes, yes, than yes. the way you were before. Right. And uh, yes. could you also, again, and we still have the uh, the question whereby maybe you can break us, you can break down to us types of mental health. Correct. Uh, but since you've already touched on medication, yes. Um, uh, maybe, and I know this because I've taken medication myself. And when the doctor was explaining to me, he mm. said, uh, Maureen, 
we are attacking the chemical imbalances Correct. in your body mm. by balancing them. Yes. And true enough, I've been able to function Wonderful. like every other normal person. Wonderful. Uh, could, could you maybe just explain to people how that works? Uh, how that works is that uh, when you look at the, the word in biology, mm -hmm. biology means body mm -hmm. plus the body hormones. Okay. The wow. body God gave us is a wonderful body. Yes. This is really fearful and wonderful man. Yes. The problem with this body is mm -hmm. the hormones inside the body. Aha. Uh -huh. The hormones. The bio, the BIO, body. the yes. hormones. Now, yes. the chemicals within the chemicals. body yes, yes, is yes, a yes. challenge. Yes. And these chemicals, there are so many factors that can imbalance them. Mm -hmm. One of the factors that can imbalance them is uh, the food you are eating. That is a very interesting notion. For instance, right. if you take, if you take uh, 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 it's lunch time mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, right now it might be lunch time. Right. You want to take your food and also escort your food with a bottle of beer. Uh -huh. As we meet out there, will yes. you be behaving like the Madame Morin? No. no. Or in the, no. Yeah. the food you've eaten mm -hmm. as uh, tampered mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. balance mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. hormones within your true, system. True, true, yes. Now, uh, so the food we eat, mm -hmm. Has got, uh, that's why we look at uh, something called the basic aid, mm -hmm. when, by when, when you are conducting an assessment, we look at uh, mm -hmm. uh, the behaviors of a person, mm -hmm. the, the feelings, the mm -hmm. affect, mm -hmm. uh, the, sens the sensorium, yes. Yes. The, 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 the images that yes. the individual is seeing, yes. the cognition that is a thought, uh -huh. and then the interpersonal relationship between how are you relating with other people, mm -hmm. and then the, the food, the Absolutely. drugs. Yes. So the, the seven aspect of assessment, the basic right. aid right. is very important. So yeah. and drugs or mm -hmm. the nutrition uh, has got a lot through our bodies. Right. Then, of course, is the environment. Mm. It might be very, very, very okay, mm -hmm. but we expose you to a very, 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 very stressful right. condition. Right. Right. Our gene makeup, mm -hmm. the resilience of my gene is different from yours. Okay. And therefore, mm -hmm. I can persevere. I can treat a very, very, very severe condition right. for another person not severe, the, uh, persevere the same. Yes. They will go down. Uh -huh. So our serious, there is something yes. we normally yes. call the diabetes yes. stress model uh -huh. where we look at the relationship between our genes mm -hmm. plus the environmental stressors. Uh -huh. Those can break you down. True. True. The environmental factors, if they are very, very, very stressful, mm -hmm. they can make you down mm -hmm. and they affect our genetic composition. Mm -hmm. Then we are also looking at uh, also the concurrent stressors. Mm -hmm. Are you the kind of person who lost the job last year because mm -hmm, of COVID-19? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At the same time, you, the only cow you had in both mm -hmm, died. Mm -hmm, then mm -hmm. the only chicken you had given it was uh, oh, eaten by, true, by whatever. True, true, true. Then it's somebody else. You, 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 some stressors are coming. Yes. Um, Beside that, you've got a health condition. Mm -hmm. Those stressors will also affect our genetic resilience. Right, right. Then also mm -hmm. the genetic uh, abnormality. Mm -hmm. In the process of the inheritance, mm -hmm. if there is a gene mm -hmm. that has got any abnormality, mm -hmm. what we call chromosome a monosomy, mm -hmm. that one it has it will affect our health completely. Mm -hmm. The abnormality in mm -hmm. the genes that mm -hmm. we inherit from our parents, mm -hmm. they will also affect our mental conditions. I see. Of course, given maybe the environmental factors and the stressors, yeah. Perfect. Yes. Right. Uh, so, is, when do you discover this? Is it when you're diagnosing uh, somebody? No. Uh -huh. uh, but, maybe, well, uh, no, let, let me, me put talk, it this talk way. About, uh, oh, first, okay. The, yes, the, yes, the first yes. mental yes. condition. Yes. We have got about 20. Oh. In I the world, oh, we've got wow. a, over okay. 20, okay. Uh, based on the diagnostic and mm -hmm. statistical manual right. of mental disorders, right. Right. We, have about, we, have about, uh, we have about 20 clusters, wow. not 20 conditions, but 20 clusters, clusters. groups, yes. 20 groups of mental health conditions, right. 20 clusters. I can't even think of more than four in my because head. Because even you have got eating disorders, oh, are you together, oh, yeah. so many of them, okay. so they are also mental conditions, uh -huh. so we have got about 20 clusters uh -huh. of mental health conditions. Yeah. Uh, which have been currently diagnosed uh, according to the American uh, Psychological Association, uh, uh, Psychiatric Association, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, DSM manual. Wow, okay. The fifth edition, mm -hmm. the current mm -hmm. one. There are about 20 clusters. Okay. okay. And within that clusters, there are so many conditions there uh -huh. which affect the people. So it's right. our complex field. Right. Could you give us maybe on top of your head, maybe four or five? Uh, uh, other than depression. One of them I can talk about personality disorders. Personality disorders, There is yes. no person does not have a personality disorder. There are about uh, <laughs> 10 conditions uh -huh. of, and uh, okay. even me I have one of them. <laughs> so there are so many personality disorders. Right. Then of course we have got gender identity disorders. Oh. 
which are now making us to go to the one of uh, LGBTI, we have got the uh, homosexuals, it's a gender identity oh, disorders. Okay, okay. Uh, we have got also child only disorders. There are some sure. conditions a young child uh -huh. will have, uh -huh. which is a mental health condition. Uh -huh. After they finish the period of childhood, uh -huh. that condition disappears. Oh, that's right. There is uh, also adolescent disorders. So we have got childhood and adolescent oh, disorders. My goodness, yes. After the age of adolescence is over, those conditions that have been disturbing the planet, disappear. they will disappear completely. Wow. Yes. Uh -huh. We have got those kind of conditions. Yes. Then we have got, of course, the normal schizophrenia. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Which uh, initially we had uh, six uh, subtypes, okay. but right now they have been combined into one. Mm -hmm. So we had uh, six uh, types of uh, schizophrenia, mm -hmm. uh, which now we call the madness proper. Okay. Proper Though kabisa. it's not talking okay yes. to you that madness, yes, 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 uh, it yes. is stigmatic. Anyway, for and, purposes uh, of uh, our audience, it's good to use a language that they understand. That the they best. understand, yes, 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 yeah, yes. Because schizophrenia is a mm. spread mind. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then, uh, of course, we have got now anxiety disorders, mm. which are five in number mm -hmm. uh, and anxiety disorder actually depression is depression? Uh, uh, is one of the conditional uh, okay. is one of the in the cluster Sub of anxiety disorders yes, is yes. a subtype of an anxiety disorder yes and the depression by the way is also yes. a type of uh, anger yes 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 then uh, we have got uh, post-traumatic stress disorders uh -huh. the many wounds we are encountering yes. in life which are physical and psychological yes. they are causing us would Rest. because yes. trauma is an injury mm -hmm. which is physical or, or psychological. psychological yes exactly yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then uh, there is the phobic disorders. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are some uh, there, 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 there are some phobias which will attack oh. you, and they have got no apparent cure. Oh, okay. Like uh, then you have got the generalized anxiety disorders, mm -hmm. whereby mm -hmm. you start saying that uh, you are having some homesick. Yes. Or you and can't if you breathe review, properly. Yes. And uh -huh. if you don't go home, mm -hmm. or, or this uh, the, 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 this kind of. Uh, uh, condition we have by mm -hmm. we have got uh, simple and complex phobias like you know it's, there are some people cannot stand in front of other people aha uh -huh. they you can, actually you can't could, yes audience. they can even faint and they do yes oh, yeah yes. i see what you mean wow this, <laughs> this is so educative i'm curious yes, yes. then we have got also the the eating disorders mm -hmm. like the rumination disorders mm -hmm. people yeah. sexual disorders yeah oh. that's why i grown up like me or a two-year-old child Yes, and I enjoy the two-year-old child and uh, my wife whom I paid even the dowry call oh, and she's yeah. legally there. Uh -huh. Yes, so th those are sexual disorders. Or animals we call them, in that case. Yes, 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 we call them paraphilic disorders. Wow. Paraphilic disorders, there uh -huh. are so many. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, this is one, one of the, these are a, a key disorder for men. Majority of para paraphilias mm. are men. Mm. Yes, those who even want to enjoy sex with the dead bodies, with oh. the animals, uh -huh. with even a chicken. Those are, those are paraphilic disorders. They are mental disorders, so many of them, yes, yes, yes. that really affect the people. And then, of course, uh, we are, I've also talked about the eating disorders. We mm -hmm. have got uh, also the developmental disorders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, developmental disorders are also quite many. We are by now, we have got different kind, uh, we have got uh, problems in mm -hmm. our development. Mm -hmm. There are some people who return to grow, there are people mm -hmm. who bloom fast. So, true, true, true. those disorders. Okay. So, uh -huh. we are. It is a complex field right. of mental health conditions, right. and so having an, an understanding of how to manage them mm -hmm. is the most important thing. I, I agree. Yes. I agree. The management is the most important thing. Right. Yes. And and on that note, and yes. wow, I, honestly, I feel like there's so much knowledge yes. uh, to our audience today. Mm -hmm. uh, say somebody is at home and they're suspecting that either their child, their sister, their brother, their parents be experiencing this what would be the first step to take in terms of it's them versus this thing what's the first step now first of all is to to identify where the lady started beating us mm -hmm. and uh i don't mean to say especially for the parents and the children mm -hmm. as we talk about uh, the child is manifesting some certain bizarre behavior yeah we might think it is a child who has got the challenge, mm. but those bizarre behaviors, mm -hmm. they might be triggered by these parents. Okay, okay. Uh, and that's why in the field of counseling, we mm -hmm. normally talk, uh, talk about now making a paradigm shift mm -hmm. from the individual mm -hmm. to the system. The family is a system. The family is a company with the directors, with the supervisors, with the departments. Right. So, uh, for, uh, stopping to focus on you, mm -hmm. who is manifesting, like now in your case, I, yes. you probably I, I, I take your case uh, yes. for the purpose of uh, the audience yes, understanding. Yes, yes, yes. You are diagnosed with yes. the 
depression. Yes, yes. Postpartum depression. Yes. To, to be precise. Yes. Then. Now that postpartum dep mm -hmm. depression, mm -hmm. you might not have been the cause of mm -hmm. the problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It might have been your family. True. Which triggered. Right. Then you became the carrier uh -huh. of the signs and the symptoms. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you are not the cause of the problem. True, true, true. You, are only, you have only become the identified patient. Yes, 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 yes. The whole sickness is in the system with the family. True. Sure. And it is this system that has, that has made it to be sick, mm. which is still mm. blaming you yeah. and ridiculing you. Very and true. they are the cause of their problems. Wow. So for treatment to be, take, to be, to be done appropriately, yes. we need to move the system. True, true, true. Because mm. when you treat individual mm -hmm. and you've not treated the system, yeah. the individual will not recover because I'll treat you and you're yeah. going back to the same, same well. Very true. The same, and the, the, the cycle the, the continues. Of, yeah, the cycle continues. Right. And therefore, it mm. will be a cycle that will continue mm. forever and ever. Mm. And the cycle will stand at the fence. True. And they will be speaking in harsh voices. They mm. say that uh, this is a family of uh, yeah, mentally people. ill people. It's yes. True. Yeah. yeah. If a man come and want to get a lady there mm. or, a, or, or a lady want to marry him there, mm. hey, you could have asked us for one device. Which yeah. device? That's a money family. Yeah. See, now uh, the sticky man become even very, very, very... We are true. even known. Yeah. Even when I'm, I'm trying to identify you mm -hmm. with your family members, mm -hmm. who the lady from that family, which has got always mm -hmm. money people. Mm -hmm. So... Mm. Wow. It's something that we need. So now that the parents now, first of all, mm -hmm. what they, they need to pick first of all mm -hmm. is when they see some bizarre be behaviors, mm -hmm. they need now to first of all check whether this child of theirs is either abusing drugs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. whether there is something either from their home, if they are school going children, mm -hmm. that school going child has got two environments, mm -hmm. the home and, and the school. school. Whether, and in between even and in between because of the, 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 yes. the community yes, yeah, yes. the environment where they're coming yes, from yes. to check whether mm -hmm. the stressor is mm -hmm. coming from the environment mm -hmm. which is home mm -hmm. or school mm -hmm. or these systems of socialization mm -hmm. which is that motorbike man mm -hmm. that tax man mm -hmm. that friend in the mm -hmm. neighborhood mm -hmm. who might have affected this particular true. person true, true. because uh, mm -hmm. the environment might be a predator Very which true. is causing this problem uh, absolutely and, and they remember yes. Yes. Especially special issue to do with the sexuality. Mm, mm. These are things we have not overcome. In fact, uh, Madame, we need, to, we need to, 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 bring, to one day to bring it here mm. and speak it mm. in and mm. out mm. because that's a, an area of which we are calling taboo topic. Mm. Mm. Many kids are meeting with children who got sexually abused yes, between, is, between two years to six years. Wow. They have never told anybody, now they are people's wives. It is coming out in the council room mm. uh, when they are, they are already oh. wives and they have done a lot of mess in even their true, marriages true. because there is nobody who could be able to give them the hearing here, the seeing eye, mm. and the ability to understand the one of this particular person. Wow. So true. they are brought for marriage. And true. this particular person is telling you that I did a, a church wedding mm. and I've never told my spouse yeah. what happened to me. Yeah. And they are going to heaven by faith. It's true, and yes. uh, it's unfortunate because we mm. can admit that it's mostly the boy child yes. that suffers, mm. and they're taught to be strong, not to be vulnerable. Correct. And before you know it, indeed, there is a crisis. And that's and why our former president, uh, former president, President Kibaki right, said yeah. some, sometimes he hears back when I was in school mm. that in every marketplace there is always a man, but not a man, man. human. Yeah, a man. Because man. now we are never allowed to develop our emotions. Yeah, and yeah. actually, strictly when you think about it, mm. even on a normal day to day circumstances, indeed you'll always see the mad man. Yes, even, even within this period of this yeah, man. Yeah. Go to the street, to yeah. the street of Nairobi yeah. from Jabajin Garden. Yeah. Men, not yeah. women. Yeah. Yes. Oh my. Because uh, yeah. men have not learned how to do with emotions. Yes. And it's a very, very, very sensitive mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. Yet we need to tell them that uh, we need to come out and tell them the, about the value of tears. First right. Of all. It's true. That There's topic no it was never covered even in my, the cell of us I went through. Wow. The value of tears. Yes. It's only in, and Dr. Witte, mm. who used to teach sometimes mm. back mm. when he was dealing with the mental kids in the country, which you didn't understand, right. about the value of tears. Tears, the value yes. of tears. And yes. basically what they're just, just shortening the term of be vulnerable, talk it out, True. and feel okay, because that's the beginning of healing. After all, you cannot, you cannot be man enough than Jesus who cried in a funeral. Right, yes. right. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> wow. I'm blown away. I'm learning so much. I had this thought of actually 
studying a bit of psychology and I feel a push now. Please welcome. I will join you. I'll join you so that I can learn more, not for myself as well and for my boys and also the people the, around the me. Great. Sure. I want to thank you deeply for welcome. allowing us to have you here welcome. and for your time and pot, endless pot of knowledge. And I can tell there's so many topics that we need to address along the way. Thank and you. it's my hope that you can be able to honor us with your presence and your knowledge. I'm a vital man, Asante <laughs> sana. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow, guys, I hope you've heard what the people had to say about mental health. I hope you've been able to hear what Mr. Julius had to say about mental health. In fact, it's a deeper topic than what meets the eye. Mental health is not just about madness, it's about over 20 clusters of situations that could be grouped as mental illness. So, next time you see anything happening around a person you love, a person near you, don't be quick to judge. How about asking them if they're okay? And if they say they are not, please do seek help. There's a lot of help out there. And all you need to do is just accept and say, hey, this is not okay like I did, seek help and you'll be on the other side of the mental health or mental illness. Again, thank you Tomoka Africa. Thank you my amazing crew. Thank you Bold Collections for dressing me up tonight. And I hope to see you again next week, same place, same time. For now, have a good night. Bye-bye.